Living with diabetes requires careful management, and blood tests are crucial for understanding and controlling the condition. These tests give you and your healthcare team vital information about how your body is handling blood sugar, how well your organs are functioning, and whether complications are developing. Watch until the end, because the last test we'll reveal could be the one that saves your life. One of the most important tests is the hemoglobin A1c, commonly referred to as the A1c test. This test provides a snapshot of your average blood sugar levels over the past two to three months. Unlike daily blood sugar readings, which can fluctuate due to various factors like food, exercise, or stress, the A1c gives a more stable overview of your blood sugar control. The test measures the percentage of hemoglobin proteins in the blood that are coated with sugar. The higher the percentage, the higher your average blood sugar levels have been. For most people with diabetes, an A1c level below 7% is the target. Studies have shown that keeping the A1c in this range can significantly reduce the risk of complications such as nerve damage, kidney disease, and vision problems. The A1C test is typically done two to four times a year, depending on how well you are managing your blood sugar. The fasting blood sugar, or FBS test, is another key test for diabetics. This test measures your blood sugar levels after you haven't eaten for at least eight hours. It's usually done first thing in the morning before breakfast. The FBS test helps to determine how well your body is managing blood sugar levels without the immediate influence of food. If your fasting blood sugar levels are consistently above 126 mg per deciliter, this indicates that your diabetes is not well controlled. Keeping an eye on your fasting blood sugar levels is crucial for preventing complications and adjusting your treatment plan as needed. Another important test for diabetics is the lipid profile, which measures the levels of different types of fat in your blood, including cholesterol and triglycerides. People with diabetes are at a higher risk of developing heart disease, so keeping your cholesterol levels in check is vital. The lipid profile typically includes measurements of LDL, or bad cholesterol, HDL, or good cholesterol, and triglycerides. High levels of LDL cholesterol can lead to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, increasing the risk of heart attack or stroke. On the other hand, HDL cholesterol helps remove excess cholesterol from the bloodstream, so higher levels of HDL are protective. Triglycerides are another type of fat that can contribute to heart disease when levels are too high. Regular lipid profile tests can help you and your doctor make informed decisions about diet, lifestyle changes, and medication to keep your heart healthy. The next test on the list is the serum creatinine test, which measures how well your kidneys are filtering waste from your blood. Diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease, so it's critical to monitor kidney function regularly. Creatinine is a waste product that comes from the normal wear and tear on muscles. Normally, your kidneys filter creatinine out of your blood and it's eliminated in your urine. If your kidneys are not working properly, the levels of creatinine in your blood will rise. The serum creatinine test is usually done along with a test called the EGFR, or Estimated Glomerular Filtration Rate, which gives a more accurate picture of kidney function. If the EGFR is low, it may indicate that your kidneys are not filtering blood as well as they should, which could be a sign of kidney damage. An often overlooked but critical test for diabetics is the urine microalbumin test. This test checks for small amounts of protein in your urine, which can be an early sign of kidney damage. When the kidneys are damaged, they may start to leak protein into the urine, which is not normally the case. The presence of even a small amount of protein in the urine, known as microalbuminuria, can be an early indicator of diabetic nephropathy, a type of kidney disease that can occur in people with diabetes. Detecting microalbuminuria early can help prevent or slow the progression of kidney disease through treatment and lifestyle changes. This test is usually done at least once a year, or more frequently if your doctor is monitoring you for kidney problems. Next up is the Complete Blood Count, or CBC, a test that provides a comprehensive overview of your blood's health. The CBC measures several components of your blood, including red blood cells, white blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and platelets.
For diabetics, the CBC can be important because it helps detect conditions like anemia, which is a common complication in people with diabetes, especially those with kidney disease. Anemia occurs when there aren't enough red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout the body, leading to fatigue, weakness, and other symptoms. A CBC can also help detect infections, which people with diabetes are more prone to because of their compromised immune systems. The final and perhaps most crucial test that diabetics should have is the C-reactive protein, or CRP test. The CRP test measures the level of C-reactive protein in your blood, which rises in response to inflammation. Inflammation is a major contributor to the development of complications in diabetes, including heart disease. High levels of CRP have been associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events, such as heart attack and stroke, in people with diabetes. The CRP test is particularly important because it can provide an early warning sign that inflammation is occurring in the body, even before symptoms appear. This allows for early intervention to reduce the risk of serious complications. Lifestyle changes, such as diet and exercise, as well as medications, can help lower CRP levels and reduce inflammation. Now, let's take a closer look at why the C-reactive protein test holds a special place in the lineup of blood tests. Unlike some of the other tests that focus on specific organs or systems, the CRP test offers a window into the overall state of your body's inflammatory response. Inflammation is a silent enemy in diabetes. It doesn't cause pain or discomfort in the early stages, so you might not even know it's there. But inside your body, it's causing damage that can lead to serious health problems. High CRP levels have been linked to insulin resistance, which makes it harder for your body to use insulin effectively. This can lead to higher blood sugar levels and make diabetes harder to control. Research has shown that people with elevated CRP levels are at a higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease, even if their cholesterol levels are normal. This is particularly concerning for people with diabetes who are already at an increased risk of heart disease. A study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found that people with high CRP levels were more likely to have a heart attack or stroke, regardless of other risk factors. This makes the CRP test an invaluable tool for identifying those at risk and taking steps to protect their heart health. One of the most compelling reasons to prioritize the CRP test is that it can prompt early interventions that could potentially save lives. If your CRP levels are high, your doctor might recommend lifestyle changes, such as a healthier diet, regular exercise, or quitting smoking, all of which can help lower inflammation and reduce your risk of complications. In some cases, medication might be necessary to bring down CRP levels and protect your heart. By catching inflammation early, you can take steps to prevent serious complications down the road, making the CRP test a critical component of your diabetes management plan. Incorporating these seven blood tests into your routine can make a world of difference in managing your diabetes and preventing complications. Each test offers unique insights into how your body is coping with the condition, and together, they provide a comprehensive picture of your health. While some tests, like the A1C and fasting blood sugar, are more commonly known, others, such as the CRP test, might not be on your radar. But understanding the importance of each test and working with your healthcare team to monitor these key areas can help you take control of your diabetes and live a healthier, longer life. Don't underestimate the power of regular blood tests in managing diabetes. They are more than just numbers. They are a guide to better health and a tool for preventing complications. By staying informed and proactive, you can make a significant impact on your health and well-being.